Hello, my name is Kelly Uding. I'm going to be doing the lab today that is um, the interactive um, advanced concept presentation for elephant toothpaste. Um, the materials that we will be needing, needing today is going to be two tablespoons of warm water, a tablespoon of yeast, food coloring, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, um, a cup. So I'm going to demonstrate. This is my dish soap, uh, warm water, my yeast is in this cup, um, my hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so for this experiment, to go through the steps, we are going to combine two tablespoons of warm water with one tablespoon of yeast, and we're going to mix until the yeast is completely dissolved in the water. So as we have our water, I'm going to be taking my yeast and putting that into this cup. So I'm going to be mixing this until it is completely dissolved. As you can see, it then turns cloudy. Uh, from the looks of this, this is completely dissolved. Um, pour a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into the empty cup. Cup. <coughs> um, hydrogen peroxide. And my mason jar has uh, the measurements on it. Um, we are going to now, for step three, add food coloring, a few drops of the food coloring. However, I am poor and cannot afford food coloring, so I apologize. Um, for step four, since we're gonna skip step three, uh, we're going to add a squirt of dish soap into the mixture. And then finally, we are going to pour the mixture of water and yeast into one cup. So we're going to take our dish soap and we are going to in the hydrogen. Okay, and as you can see, we are now going to pour the warm water with the yeast into the hydrogen peroxide with the dish soup. Okay. As you can see, mine fanned up a little bit. Um, I couldn't do a lot, I'm inside, but um, the experiment does work. I am able to see that. However, um, it might be because of my yeast. Okay, so to go into this experiment, um, in depth, I am going to discuss this. <clears throat> Okay, so the yeast is mixed with the hydrogen peroxide and this causes a chemical reaction. The yeast acts as a catalyst um, and it is broke apart the oxygen and the hydrogen peroxide. A catalyst um, is used to speed up a reaction. Um, there was lots of bubbles that were created. Um, so this reaction is actually called an exothermic reaction and it actually created heat. The foam produces water, soap, and oxygen. The yeast is not reacting with the hydrogen peroxide, rather is acting as a catalyst. Um, it is not, the catalyst is not used up in the uh, reaction, it is actually a substance that causes the uh, reaction to speed up. Hydrogen peroxide is hydrogen and oxygen, H2O2. The yeast is going to be carbon, hydrogen, oxygen with a formula of C19H14 and O2. Okay, so going in depth with this, <clears throat> I wanted to discuss how the experiment shows a chemical reaction. So the yeast is the catalyst and helps release the oxygen molecules from the hydrogen peroxide. The release of oxygen molecules in this experiment happens very fairly quickly. The foam created in this is the chemical reaction. During this reaction, um, we can see that the cup actually felt a little bit warmer after it was mixed together. This is because, like we said, it was exothermic reaction. The reaction will continue to foam and will produce until all of the hydrogen peroxide has been broken down into the water and of the oxygen. Okay. <laughs> 
<sighs> sorry um the yeast acts as a catalyst and like we said the catalyst is going to speed up the reaction therefore this is why it creates an exothermic reaction which has produced the oxygen and the water as well as it created a fairly large mess um yeah so the elephant two phase occurs because of the mixture of the two to three different substances being mixed together thank you